We intend to stay vigilant and take action if these terrorist forces threaten our personnel or facilities anywhere in Iraq, including our consulate in Erbil and our embassy in Baghdad. Breaking right now, President Obama has authorized targeted airstrikes in Iraq. This says fighting between the government and the militant group ISIS spirals into a humanitarian crisis. The president making the announcement around 9.30. He said that the U.S. military is making food and water drops to thousands of Iraqis, part of religious minorities, who are stranded on a mountain with no food or water. ABC's Karen Travers now with the latest. Tonight, President Obama said that U.S. warplanes are ready to go if Americans are threatened in Iraq. I've therefore authorized targeted airstrikes, if necessary, to help forces in Iraq as they fight to break the siege of Mount Sinjar and protect the civilians trapped there. Under the cover of darkness, the U.S. military carried out a stealth mission in northern Iraq. Aircraft dropped food and aid to combat what the White House on Wednesday called a dire humanitarian crisis. One Iraqi in the area cried to the world, there is no one coming to help. Well, today America is coming to help. It's a complicated and dangerous mission. ISIS extremists now have surface-to-air missiles and other firepower. The U.S. cargo planes will be protected by Predator drones and fighter jets. This week, ISIS militants took control of areas of northern Iraq that are home to religious minorities. They issued an ultimatum, convert to Islam or face potential death. Now, thousands of Yazidis who follow an ancient religion are stranded high in the Sinjar Mountains as they try to escape this brutal ISIS advance. The conditions are terrible. This man said there's no water, no electricity, no bread, not even a single green tree. This is a desperate situation, particularly for children. And now ISIS militants threaten the capital of northern Iraq, Erbil, where the U.S. has key outposts with military consultants and a consulate. I've directed our military to take targeted strikes against ISIL terrorist convoys should they move toward the city. But the president strongly reiterated American combat troops will not be sent back into war in Iraq. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. Stay with us here on ABC6 and our website, abc6onyourside.com, for the latest on this developing story.